food that he gave to man. He says, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Notice the first thing he's mentioning here in terms of food is herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth. And every tree, you're going to find your food on just about every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you, it shall be for meat. So what was meat in Genesis 129? Herbs, the bush, the leaves from the trees. Then we, we got our other um, nutrients from there. Right now during this COVID-19, a lot is being said about using vitamin C, zinc, and of course, vitamin D or vitamin D3. Now, the Lord already put those nutrients in the food. But because of the pandemic, I know now too that you need additional supplements. So you get your additional vitamin C and or you get your D and your zinc. So let me share with you some of the foods um, that's high in, in vitamin C. You have your broccoli. What is broccoli? A herb. You have your Brussels sprouts. There is spinach. You have cabbage, all your leafy greens, your red bell pepper, your green bell pepper, um, your papaya also. And an interesting thing about papaya that you can prepare papaya while it is green before it ripes, it must be full, but you can still prepare it. You can steam it and have it here again as a vegetable. And then when it's ripe, you can have it then as a fruit. You can put it on open wound, all right? You can drink the juice made fresh yourself. There is pineapple, there is kiwi, and all your citrus fruit. I'm gonna focus here on lemon. These things are not very expensive. But if you use your lemon and water first thing in the morning, here again, that's your dose of vitamin C. When you have your salad, instead of buying expensive salad dressing, which you do this, you would use your... Uh, make it tasty, of course, with a salad, and away you go. Now... Some of the foods that are high in zinc, believe it or not, beans, nuts, whole grains, that's your brown rice, your barley flour, your my phone, sunflower seeds, your pumpkin seed, your cereal. Now you will get different types of cereal and it will say fortified. Okay, so you want um, also here to make certain that you're getting your cold cereal, but you're going to look for the cereal that contains the highest amount of fiber and the least amount of sugar. All right, chickpea, chickpea or garbanzo, you know, we all know about that. Okay, so we can have our chickpea in various form. After cooking the chickpea, you can even blend the chickpea in water in your blender, you put in a quarter cup of chickpea, put in a cup of water, let that blend. And you may have to add another cup of water. That will give you um, two cups. You want at least two cups of water for some persons. If you have a good strong blender, that's it. For some persons with other blenders, you may need to add a little more water. And that water, you can drink that water throughout the day. Let's say an elderly person right now, challenge, not eating, you cannot smell, you cannot taste, etc. That's a good way to use your chickpea and your sunflower seeds. You can make a milk from your sunflower seeds and you can add it to the chickpea liquid to make it even more potent. Then you have your oatmeal. You want to make sure you get the old fashioned oats. All right, the quick oats, if you're dealing here with elderly persons, you want to give them some food very quickly, you can then cook some quick oats, but add some of the sunflower seed milk to that, or blend some almonds. You can do like your almond milk as well. So you have your almonds, you have your almond milk, you have your kidney beans, okay? Then if you're looking for your vitamin D, well, we all know where to find that. Outside, 
in the sunlight for about 30 minutes. You want to make sure that you're wearing a long sleeve cotton shirt or blouse. All right. You want to be well protected so there's no burning of the skin. You're going to sit with your back to the sun for about half an hour. All right. Sometimes what I do is I carry my little, I have a special seat out on the outside. I carry my cushion and I lay my head on my cushion with my face also covered from the sun. And I'm able to expose my back, my spine. This is what you're doing now. You want the sun light to hit directly on the spine. Your rib is, each rib is connected to the spine. Also, each organ is connected to rib. So while you're out there in the sunlight, your liver is pulling in um, the cholesterol that is right under the skin, pulling that in. And this is where we get the vitamin D. I was shocked and surprised when I went to UC Pines and found out that most of the persons coming from the Caribbean islands, their vitamin D was low. And I couldn't understand why, but we're not spending the time in the sun. So you want to make certain you don't have to buy the vitamin D. Yes, we may need the supplement. Get out there in the sun. While you're out in the sun, you're also deep breathing. So you're breathing in, especially in the morning time, that fresh supply of oxygen. You're going to breathe in slowly. You're going to hold it. And then you're going to press your lips and you're going to push that air out slowly. You're trying to squeeze out as much of the poisons and toxins from the lungs as possible. Then you're going to take another deep breath. So you do that maybe for about five, keep increasing it every day, 10 minutes or so. The longer you can hold your breath, whether you're breathing out or you're breathing in, is best because this is where and when the white blood cells multiply. And that all of that then goes into your, the lymphocyte, your monocyte. We have an army within. So we are feeding the army with oxygen. If you have a tree, I, I stand under my mango tree sometime and this is where I exercise. Why? Because I'm getting fresh supply of oxygen from the tree. Those leaves are powerful. I'm breathing out carbon dioxide. So I'm feeding um, the tree and the tree is giving me the oxygen. So therefore read your labels. You do not want to be drinking any soft drink or anything that contains what? Carbon dioxide. It's a waste matter. The body is getting rid of it. Okay. So remember, in order to get our antioxidant, and the vitamins and nutrients and the things for respiratory health, the things that help our bodies to get rid of inflammation, to um, boost our immune system. We need to be doing these simple things. Another thing that they talk about is, this is pycnogenol. And listen here, we've got pycnogenol, you know. <laughs> pycnogenol in other places is used as a pine bark, from the pine bark and or the pine leaves. Remember now, these things that are mentioned in the Bible, like almond and pine and all those things, these are the things that are most, most, most important for us at this time. The pine leaves, you need about a handful, rinse them off, pour boiling water over them, um, let them steep for about half an hour, and you drink. What it is, it helps with your blood pressure. It helps with your heart. It improve, improves blood flow to the legs. A lot of people have um, poor circulation, all right? If you have any problems with your eye, um, those that are caused by diabetes or diabetic, if you're diabetic, you have eye problems. If you have um, high blood pressure here again, problems with your eyes, kidney problems you have here again with your eyes. So you want to make sure now that you're getting either the pine bark or the pine leaves. Okay. And men, this is something you need to as well to keep drinking that pine bark. It works wonders for you. Your wife um, or your wives talking to all of you would be so thankful. Another thing we need to use while I'm wrapping up is B12. Okay, now B12, you, so it means then that we should be detoxing our body at least once per month. All of us should do, do a detox once per month. One of the only plants, I think I need to do more research, that contains vitamin B12. All right, one of the simple things or simple ways we can find vitamin B12, 
the nutritional yeast flakes. We use that to um, make our macaroni along with the lemon taste cheesy. That is what we need, nutritional yeast flakes, not brewer's yeast, not the yeast that you use to put in your bread. One tablespoon full of nutritional yeast you put that in a cup of hot water for persons like how you all are going through this fast and you need something, but you don't need food. This nutritional yeast, one glass of it will give the body not only the B12, but some of the other nutrients that's needed. It helps with your nerves. It helps with your white blood cell production. It helps to um, keep your entire system healthy. It also helps to release the food you would have eaten earlier in the form of a soup or whatever light food that you're on doing this fast. It helps to take the energy from the food to the body that you need. You find a little bit in spinach and lentils and beans and potatoes. And we're saying the same thing over and over because the way that the Lord made us and the food he made for us, it contains a little of everything that's needed. I think my time is gone. I thank you so much. Just little information, little tips that you can use to help the body right now at this time. Yes, some of us need the supplements. So then go and purchase your zinc supplement. Get your D2, D3. Get your vitamin C. And of course, get your B12 as well to help support and keep the body healthy because we want to serve the Lord. We want to, as we study our Bible, to be able to communicate with him daily. So these foods will help to keep us healthy, keep our body, mind, and spirit healthy for the Lord. Remember now to share the information with someone who may be in need. This pandemic, as my niece said, is something else. But we know that God is in control. He said, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. He did not say that there will be no weapon form. The weapon will be formed, but as long as we are trusting and holding on to God and being obedient to his word, it shall not prosper. Have a blessed day. Amen. 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 And I would like to thank Amen. Dr. Hicks for sharing her knowledge with us to help us to keep not only the doctor away, but also Corona away from us. Psalms 104 to 62 says, while I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. And Sister Penny Roll is going to come now and she will give her praise while she have her being. You may be down and feel like God has somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances that you can't get through. Right now it seems that there's no way out and you're going under. But God's proven time and time again, he'll take care of you and he'll do it again. He'll do it again If you just take a look At where you are now And where you've been Hasn't he always come through For you He's the same now as then you may not know how, you may not know when, but he'll do it again. God knows the things that you're going through. He knows how you're hurting. You see, he knows just how your heart has been broken in two but he's the god of the sun the stars and the sea 
and he is your father he can calm the storms and he'll find a way to fix things for you and he'll do it again he'll do it again if you'll just take a look at where you are now and where you've been hasn't he always come through for you he's the same now as then you may not know how you may not know when but he'll do it again amen, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Roll, for reminding us that God is our Father and our God. He will do it again for each and every one of us. Sister June Walk is now going to come and she will lead us into our opening prayer. And we are standing on the promise of Jeremiah. One twelve. God said he sent out his word and whatever Sister Walker is going to present before God for us, we believe that our God will perform every word according to his will. Amen, amen. Good afternoon. Um, first, first reading is from Matthew 6, 25 to 27. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you eat, what you drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. And you, are you not of more value than they? Which of you by <coughs> worrying? can add one cubit to his stature. We are blessed, brothers and sisters. Let us walk by faith and not by sight. And let us always stay present with the Lord, because he said in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is, and my strength is made perfect in weakness. God is with us and his grace is always sufficient for our needs. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I am thankful for life and for the opportunity to enter into your presence. We praise you, Lord, for all that you have done and for your everlasting mercy. We are grateful that you are a present help in times of need. We have faith that you, you will find, we will find you when we seek you in any time of need and that you will hear our prayers, you'll hear our pleas. Lord, in times when our heart is heavy and the attacks of the enemy are many, we pray that you will fight for us. And Lord, yes, yes. strength, give us the strength to succeed. Though the adversary prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. We confess that we will be kept safe by the blood of Jesus Christ. God will intervene in our circumstances. Lord will show his might and his strength as he protects our family from the devil. Psalm 35 reminds us that we can call on the Lord to intervene, just as he did for Daniel and Elijah and even Elisha. And we are reminded of your word that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God by the pulling down of strongholds. And so as we face each new day, may we walk in your presence, in your protection. We pray that you would stand up for us against the evil one and guard our souls against the snares. Move their father in a mighty way in our lives. 
please clear any traps, temptations, physically or mentally or spiritually. Guard our minds against discouragement and depressing thoughts. Oh, Father God, we remove all thoughts of worry and anxiety about the, what the future holds. Instead, we choose to have peace because we will have faith in you, Lord. When the enemy throws darts of confusion, depression, doubts, and despair, trying to weaken our faith or steal our joy, we pray, Lord, that G Jesus, that you will protect our minds with the helmet of salvation. Even in these uncertain times in which we struggle, we pray that you will keep our minds focused always on you. Restore unto us the joy of our salvation. Assure us that you are still by our side. We pray, dear Father, that you would shield us from daily disturbances and disappointments. Protect us with your presence that bring peace beyond all understanding. Father God, we pray that you would block all evil devices, be they physical or spiritual, that would destroy our peace. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 assures us that you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. We trust in you, Lord, and pray that despite the trials of life, we will rejoice in you. Open our eyes and understanding that we may discern the evil intention of any that we are associated with. Some trust in horses and some trust in chariots and the things of this world, but we trust only in you, Lord Jesus. May all whom we meet know that you are our defender. We pray that the Holy Spirit will keep us mindful of your goodness towards us. Help us to rejoice and magnify you, Lord, continually. Stay in your words. Dear Father, your word says, hear, O Lord. Psalm 27 says, hear, O Lord, when I cry. Have mercy on me and answer me when you, and when you said, seek my face. My heart said, your face, Lord, I will seek. Thank you for all that you will do in our lives as defender and protector. Thank you for being with us today. We bless your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And we come Amen. in agreement. Every word of life that proceed out of Sister Walker's mouth in Jesus' holy name, fresh anointing. We need a fresh outpouring of God's Holy Spirit. Thank you, Sister Walker. And now we are going to go to that time when Revelation 12, 11 says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimonies. And Sister Joy Lacard is going to come now and she's going to share with us the power of knowing God's voice and also the heart of walking in obedience and all who would like to testify of the goodness of God, prepare yourself. Everyone will not be able to share, but you make sure if you want to share that you jump right in after Sister Lockhart. Good afternoon, everyone. I pray that you will be encouraged, obedient, blessed, from this testimony as Revelation 12 and 11 says, and they have conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. I was driving, coming home um, a couple weeks ago, and um, I passed a vegetable vendor that I usually go to. And I decided, you know, um, just go home. On the way home, I heard this voice said to me, go back there to the vegetable vendor. And in, in disobedience, I was saying, you know, why? Why do I have to go back there? But the voice said to me again, go back to the vegetable vendor. So I went there and I 
saw the gentleman and a lady sitting there and I say, wow, I haven't been here for the year. I'm sure that you all missed me. They said, the lady said, yes. And the gentleman looked at me. He said, yeah, things is tough. He said, but I just was driving and wondering whether I should take my life or not because things is just tough. And I began to minister to him and let him know that help is on the way. Don't give up. If you surrender to God, he's going to fix the things that you are concerned about. Take no cares for this world. And I just began to minister to him. And us women, we know that um, to pray out in public for a male is a challenge because I think is with ego and, you know, embarrassment, especially if they're not, they don't know the Lord. But I was, I was able to speak to him and minister him and pray as I got into my Jeep, I was about to leave. And I told him, I said, you know what? God is going to fix it for you. And I, I want to encourage everyone, when you hear that voice, don't question it. We have to be obedient. Because I turned around and went back to him as the Lord had spoke to me. I encouraged him. And I went the next day and I checked on him. He said, you know what? I feel better today and I'm going to hold on. And as Sister Softly usually encouraged me and encouraged others to hold on. Help us on the way. Let's be obedient. Let's um, be encouraged and let God, let go and let God. Thank you. Amen, 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 sister. Amen. Um, amen. This is the time for the praise report. So I would like to use this opportunity, not so much as a testimony, but two seconds before I came online, two minutes before I came online, I was in the restroom and something was saying to me, the young people within our churches need to hear that we appreciate them. Let me tell you why I say that. Behind the scenes of all of this is a group of young persons who is dealing with the technological part of this program. We as the more mature ones, I don't know about you all, but me, I am lost around technology. So <laughs> I would like to say good this morning. I am yes, so thankful yes. to God for Sister Amen. Inara Miller. Yes, I yes, am so yes. thankful to God, to Pastor Valen Johnson. And I yes, am so Lord. thankful to God for Brother, I mean, Pastor Yon Dorset. They yes. are behind the scenes. And I know this is time for testimony, but I'm testifying Amen. that I'm thankful to God for those. Because <laughs> I am sure they're so tired of me. I just text them up to four, five, <laughs> six times a day, guiding <laughs> them, changing what I have to do. And they still just be right there. Yes, Sister Thompson. Thank you, Sister Thompson. So let us please show love and appreciation for the younger people within this, this church on a whole. And we must thank God for them because they're the future. Thank you, young people behind the scenes. I can't see y'all, but I know y'all there. And thank you all. Thank you for allowing me to give this praise report. Amen. 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 Good men. afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Is my there name another? Is Hello. Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Maurice. Hello. Go ahead. I'm calling from um, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I felt impressed to just worship with Pastor um, Pas with, 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 with Pastor Saint Fleur. And Pastor Saint Fleur, we've been talking about Haiti for a while and things like that. And then just a sudden, the Lord says, um, um, worship with Pastor Saint Fleur. That was a couple of weeks ago. And then I said, and I just texted him. And he said, and he, then he sent to me what we what we are about to have, the 10th day. And I said, wonderful. Then I kind of forget about it. And then just about two, uh, I missed the first three. Then the Holy Spirit kept telling me, you know, for as as a starting place, going back and check out this Pastor Sifler program. And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters from the Bahamas, my heart is so blessed. I am so, so blessed. And I can feel the Holy Amen. Ghost all over us already. Amen. I'm Amen. waking up at three o'clock in the morning. Amen. And then I'm trying, I'm I'm being obedient finally because God has set my sleeping time from 8:30 to 5:30, but I could never do it. But because of the 10 day, um, but I just started really on the third or fourth day. I'm going to sleep at seven. 
because I can't hold my body anymore. So by three, I'm awake and I'm able to really catch the blessing that the Lord is, is, has, is, is, has left for us. My sisters and brothers, Pastor St. Fleur, thank you so very much. <laughs> and I'm blessed and I'm blessed. This is Maurice. Amen. 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 Amen, brothers and sisters, Amen. and the men. Amen. Amen. And I would just like, like to thank testimony. everyone, the three individuals who have shared. I would like to say thank you. And there would be up other opportunities for order to share. We would have to go on with our program. And Sister Donna Roberts is going to come now and bring our scripture focus which is Zechariah 4 from 1 to 6. Zechariah 4, 1 to 6. And the angel that talked with me came again and waked me as a man that is awakened out of his sleep and said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold a candlestick all of gold with a bowl upon the top of it. And a seven lamps are thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps, which are upon the top thereof. And two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, no, my Lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zebirabal, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. May the Lord add a blessing to be the word. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Robert, so much. And now we are going to just going to Sister Williams is going to come now and just praise him, praise him, praise him with a special song of music. Sister Inez Williams. Okay, move on to the software. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadows of turning with thee. Thou changes not thy compassion. They fail not as thou has been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto Summer and winter and 
springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above, join with all nature in manifold witness. To thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I all I have needed, my hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own their presence to share and to guide strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow blessings all mine with Ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord. Amen. 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 I would just like to thank Sister Joy for that reminder that our God, He is every day of our lives. Our God has been so faithful and He has been so good to us. Thank you for that reminder. And now we are going to have our devotion by Pastor Jeremiah Duncan, a humble man who loved the Lord and who believed and loved to pray. And not only to pray, but he believed that prayer, work, and faith all goes together, hands in hand. Pastor Jeremiah Duncan is now going to come and bring our devotional thought for us. Thank you, Sister Softly. Appreciate the introduction and Sister Joy for that beautiful rendition. I'm here today. I'm delighted to be here. And uh, I'm thanking God for the privilege, for the opportunity to share a word for him that he has given. And uh, this word that I'm about to give is for somebody in particular. Uh, I do not know exactly who, but if you find that God is speaking directly to you through this presentation, then just give him praise and thanks. Let us pray. 
our gracious God and Father, thank you that you are still performing miracles in that you are willing to use defective, enfeebled human beings as your mouthpiece. God, you are the potter, I am the clay, and I yield myself to you to be used just now. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart and our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer, and let God's people say amen. Yes, I wish some of those mics were open so that I could hear some responses, but I am confident. Amen. 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 I'm going to go into the scripture reading that will form the platform, the basis, uh, the launching pad for my presentation today. The, the first one has already been given in Zechariah 4 verses one through six, where the angel that talked with me said, Zachariah came again and waked me as a man that is wakened out of his sleep. And I just thought that I should say right here that if God wants to send an angel or his Holy Spirit to awaken somebody here today, be responsive, come awake and alive for Jesus Christ. Amen. And the verse 2 says, he said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, a candlestick, all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and his seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps, which are upon the top thereof, and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by thy spirit, saith the Lord. Go down to verse 12, which was not read. And I answered again and said unto him, that is to the angel, what be these two olive branches which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? And he answered me and said, knowest thou not what these be? And I said, no, my Lord. Then said he, these are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. The second uh, scripture that will be forming the launching pad is chapter 10 of the same book of Zechariah. Verse 1 says, ask ye of the Lord rain. Yeah. 
since we have lost the signal from Pastor Don Tom for a moment, let's just have an attitude of prayer while we wait for him to get back on. Father God, we thank you for your words. We thank you for this moment that you have brought us to. As we wait the words from your servant, Pastor Jeremiah Duncan, we pray, God, that all the issues will be sorted out just right now and that you'll be able to come back and present that word that you have in store for us today. We will not give up. We will hold you to your promise. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. I'm not sure if somebody have a song that they could sing in this in this time, Sister Softly. Um, well, we give you a few more minutes. Can someone on the line volunteer? It only takes a spark. I will sing that. This is Maurice. Can I go ahead? Yes, you can. One quick minute, one quick minute, one quick minute. <laughs> get my book. Let me get my book. Get my book. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. I some they can do it, they call it the first bar. Um And help me, Jesus. Are we ready? Yes. No. Yes, you can sing. Bear with me, because I didn't really prepare it. It only takes a spark to get the fire going. And soon all those around can warm up in its glory. That's how it is with God's love. Once we've experienced it, you spread his love to everyone you want to pass it on. What a wondrous time is spring when all the trees are budding. The birds begin to sing. The flowers start their blooming. That's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it, you want to sing. It's fresh like spring. You want to pass it on. I wish for you, my friend, this happiness that I have found. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You can depend on him. Yes, we can. It matters not where you've bound. I'll shout it for the mountaintop. I want my world to know the Lord of love has come to me. 
I want to pass it on. I want to pass it on. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord. <laughs> I believe that Bodhi um, Zakaya is sending this message just for me. <laughs> yes, because God okay. gave me the same thing uh, to, uh, the, the, around the time that he told me to call pastor. Yes. Yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Sister Southlick, um, Amen. would you take a few more testimonies? I'm trying to get in touch with Pastor Duncan, but I'm unsuccessful. Take a few more testimonies. Okay. There was someone who I know there's a few individuals who would like to share. The goodness of God, and this is your opportunity. I have known things of God. I just want to give God thanks and praise for my space here to see today, like they are aware of God, fulfill my soul that I would be able to enjoy what is coming. And the Lord would give us the strength that each each of us would be able to go there to be a, a apostle for His will, and we would go do His will and give the praise and thanks to him. So this is my praise report. <laughs> yes. I want to testify also what God has done for me and my home, my house. You know, with this 120 in 2020, that the Lord has rise up, it do a blessing for our home. You know, we are very, very closer in heart to heart with Jesus regulation and rules and you know we more love closer oh. that fire yeah. burning you know and yeah you know to, to go on the witness to for jesus also and okay. my love my home is just my home is just in love you know this love the christ like love okay then thank you, you. Know, i'd really appreciate thank god, that. really yeah. thank god for what he has done and i thank god for this 120 in 2020 because really 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 bless us you know, one cannot even really understand what God has done with this um, program. It's a blessing for us. And I know everyone is, is crying out. And when it finished, we're really going to miss it. We're really going to miss it. In the morning, 4 o'clock, you know, it have a, up. It just, it just, it just, a, it just, God is just good. God is good. And we just want to say thank you, God, for what he has done. And thank God for this message, this 120 in 2020. Continue to, and I hope that when it finishes, we continue to get up four o'clock, continue to do midday like Daniel, and even I hope that we continue the same program, um, even, even when 120, 2020 finish. God bless um, Pastor St. Floor and all the leaders who plan it and all the people who attend. May God bless us and may we get the Holy Spirit. And we truly believe that the Lord will have mercy and give us the old pouring. Thank you for amen. 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 Are we ready for Pastor Duncan as yet? I am going to try and connect. Not sure. Phone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh. Can you hear Pastor Duncan? Go ahead. Go ahead. Try. Okay, okay. Hello. Okay. Here we are. Thank God that we are in this world with its trials and its fears, but God is in control. Yes. When, as I know, we have lost much time, and so I must see where I can connect with us as we continue. Um, they mentioned fresh anointing, and that is exactly my topic for this day of fresh anointing. You see, many people have a wrong concept of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And we have been talking about the latter rain and the former rain and all those other things and quoting from uh, the command of Jesus that he shall receive power. But many people think primarily in terms of the spectacular in terms of the power. But the Holy Spirit fills us with the love of God, and in so doing, he shines 
the light of truth into every corner of our souls, thus exposing the hidden uh, bits of self. Amen. Filled and controlled by divine love, that only the righteousness of Christ shall be manifested at all times. Oh, we have examined a number of things. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the fresh anointing, the last rain, the former rain, and the latter rain. We need them both because they, each of us in our individual lives need to experience the former rain and the latter rain. Amen. Amen. After over 60 years of Adventist programs and activities, I get excited when I see and can be involved and participate in not just another program, not just the program of the church, but a move of God. And what I see in my eyes of faith with this 120 in 2020 program, I see it more than just as another program. I see it as a move of God. And the more of the Holy Spirit we have, I declare that more and more selfless, more, more meekness, more and more humbleness and patience, we should possess, we should be more distrustful of ourselves and constantly becoming more and more dependent on Jesus Christ. You see, after this week, this 10 days have passed, and they are coming speedily to an end, and I've, I've been becoming more excited by the day. But friends, listen to me. We must not go back to the same old, same old, well, the program is over, and so we continue as before, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, there needs to be a difference. This is the latter rain experience which fills us with victory in our lives, which brings about victory over sin, transformation of character, reformation of life. This is what this fresh anointing must do for us as we come out of this program. You see, there are many who are working hard to earn the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And we know uh, what Ellen White says, that the Holy Spirit will not be poured out in its uh, fullness in a sense in these last days until the greater part of the membership is our co work. Sorry, I appear to have lost them again. Let me try. we seek to negotiate with our technology issue i just pray that you know you are able to receive the portion of what god has in store for us through our servant pastor jeremiah duncan 
I know that there is power in that word. The devil doesn't want us to hear it today. But I hope that we have taken hold of that which we have received so far. If we wait another 30 or so seconds and we haven't got a connection, I'm just going to ask you to proceed, Sister Sophie. Holy Spirit, 
faith in Jesus. They are to receive the word of the Lord in counsel and instruction, gladly communicated. There is now need for much prayer, my friend. I cannot overemphasize that Christ commanded pray without ceasing. The Holy Spirit does not come, never come without an answer to prayer. Pray without ceasing. This is the We each have walked with God in fellowship in the past, but the past is not enough. It is because some of us to daily be fitted and anointed with a fresh baptism. From these two olive uh, trees, there is an inexhaustible supply of grace and of the Holy Spirit. But those who do not cultivate the spirit and habit of prayer cannot expect to receive the golden oil of goodness and patience and long suffering and gentleness and love that comes from the throne of God. Every one of us, my friend, and I encourage you, I encourage myself, every one of us needs to keep himself separate from the world, which is full of iniquity. We are to walk with God for time and for eternity. We are to walk with him daily, not in fitful approaches, but every day of our lives, there must be a fire continuance, a perseverance in acts of faith. We are to praise God. We are to show forth His glory in a righteous character. After all, the work of the final outpouring, the latter rain, is to protect our character. It's not just so that we can be bold to testify. Yes, that makes something, but friends. If our lives are not being transformed, if we are testifying but not bringing glory to God, that's not the case. Our lives are proportionate to the value of the object which we seek and place. Jesus Christ, seek eternal life. Again, for Ellen White, who says the dispensation in which we are now living is to be to those that are the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. That flesh and life is available now. As for his blessing, it is that we were more intent on devotion. Oh, yes, I heard somebody testify of it already. Yes, we, this is the time that we must cultivate the habit, the appetite of prayer. To us is committed the obvious but happy, glorious work of revealing Christ to those who are in darkness. We are called to proclaim the special truth for this time. All this, the outpouring of the Spirit is essential. And so we should pray for it. The Lord expects us to ask him, ask, he says, seek, he says, knock, and we shall have it. My brother, my sister, to you today, I say, we cannot depend upon form or external machinery anymore. We can't simply depend upon the program and the organization, organization the church uh, machinery we must individually put ourselves in line to be filled with the Spirit of God. What we need is the quickening and growth of the Holy Spirit. Pray without ceasing, says Jesus. Watch and pray by working in accordance with your prayers. As you pray, believe, trust in God. It is the time of the last rain. It is the time for the fresh anointing. And thank God, Jesus through his servant says, God is more willing to give us the Holy Spirit than we are to give good gifts unto our children according to Luke chapter 11. And so let us surrender in full faith and claim the promise of the Spirit. Let's claim the an agonized for the last rain, the fresh anointing. Let our pain be day by day all to Jesus. I surrender. Or to him I freely give and make that a daily matter. Our attitude 
Just like to thank Pastor Duncan for that word and the scripture that came to mind while I was listening to the silence and the patience of the members and the persistent spirit of Pastor Duncan. We will not be ashamed, and the enemy of God in Christ Jesus will never triumph over us. And as we have been encouraged by Pastor Duncan, let us ask God for the outpouring of that fresh anointing. Let us wrestle with God because God is more willing to give us all these rich blessings than we really ask him for it. Let him keep us keep asking and wrestling. Thank you so much, Pastor Duncan. And we will now go into our prayer breakout room.
Thank you, Jesus. Is everyone out of the prayer room now? If I don't, if I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Some more person uh, needs to come in. Um, we left at now only 35. Give them a few minutes as they reassemble, please. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. As we are about to go and have our closing prayer by Elder Jew Allen. I do not know if Pastor Sin Floyd would like to give any information before Elder Allen pray or if he would share after Elder Allen Just pray. And then we go ahead, Pastor. Yes, Sister Softly. Would you like to share before or after the prayer? Okay, after the prayer. Okay. Okay. So we will have a closing prayer now by Elder Allen and then Pastor Flo is going to share. We will have our pre recording. So, send you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, for. Your word, your word was clear today. It has come with power and it has come with clarity. We thank you, oh God, that you will allow us, that the Holy Spirit will fall upon us. We pray, oh God, that as we wrestle with you, that you will bless us, oh God, and that you will fall afresh the anointing of your Holy Spirit. So, Lord, I pray, O oh God, as we leave this platform, O oh God, the Lord bless us. The Lord sanctify us. The Lord is face to shine upon us and give us peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And before Pastor St. Floyd come to give the announcement or charge. I would just like to say thank you to everyone that participated and thank you to everyone that supported and thank you to our technician also. We will have Pastor St. Floyd now. Thank you very much, Sister Softly. Let me express gratitude to Elda Cable team a morning we are the cost of discipleship hallelujah there's a price but worthwhile because Jesus paid the real price thank you pastor Duncan for the meditation today powerful meditation to God be the glory Dr. Higgs many thanks for the health tip and all of you, those who sang, those of who stepped right in, um, Sister Marie, and everybody, uh, those who testified, who sang, we say to God, be the glory, great things he has done. Amen. 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 So send I you to labor unrewarded, to serve unpaid, unloved, unsought, unknown, to bear rebuke, to suffer.
for scorn and scoffing, so send I you to toil for me alone. So send I you to leave your life's ambition, to die to dear desire. Spend and spare not, so send I you to taste of Calvary. See you at five, Lord willing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Um, yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Praise I the have Lord. Somebody who wants to join, who wants to come on board from the States, but um, I don't know if you have a passcode or you just put in the ID um, number. Mm -mm. Um, no, they could just put the ID number and they could join. That's no problem. The same ID okay. number. Okay. Okay, yes. thank you. Invite some friends to the um, Let's Talk About Him campaign. Um, family members, friend, this is the time. This is the last push for us to share. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, thank you. Why don't you listen, please? What is so hard about that? It's hard. What? It's not hard? Yes. 